so by request, I'm going to show off some of the features of the uh, Arduino Tito player tracking and display project that I just uploaded to GitHub. So the machine's all buttoned up um, right now, and this is running the version two code that we just published. Um, so you see we've got a, the display working, okay? Um, this is a vacuum fluorescent display, uh, two lines, 20 characters. Uh, that is adjustable in the code, so you'll see that in the documentation of how to adjust if you have a different size display. You can also use LCD displays, but you'll have to make some code modifications and include the LCD library to make that work, okay? Uh, so there's a default message, which you can change. You can lay, make put a, the casino name or something of your choice for the top line, and then for the scrolling line, you can have um, uh, other messages of your choice. There's a regular default message, and there's a message that comes up when you insert the player uh, a player tracking card. Um, there's also you can also customize this message on the fly using uh, the web UI. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you that I'm on the phone, but um, there's some screenshots of that uh, in the forum. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can you can take a look there. Okay, so we got a Game King here. Um, this is running um, uh, Superstars Poker. Um, I've tested this on my 044 Game King and my um, 504 based S2000. Uh, both are working fine um, for the for all the. Uh, the Tito and the, um, uh, well, at least certainly for Tito, my S2000 does not have a player tracking uh, bracket. So, but obviously that, that hardware really doesn't change. If it works here, it's going to work there. Um, for my example here, I reused the, uh, the vacuum fluorescent display. I don't have the keyboard wired in yet. I didn't have a purpose for that yet. Uh, eventually I might do something with that. And then for the card reader, I just gutted the, uh, took the electronics off the card reader, left the plastic molding and the frame on the inside, and then mounted the RFI, RFID reader to the top of it. So when you insert the card, it can, it can read it, okay? So this is idle mode, um, just waiting for the player to insert a card. So we've got a couple cards here. Uh, the first one is just a uh, player card. So when I insert this, we'll see we get a card inserted, good luck. And then it will have a personalized message for me. Okay. And then I can go ahead and I can start playing. All right. And then it's 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 accumulating stats as it's playing the game. So it's tracking wins, losses, mount one, games played, um, and such. Um, when you're done playing, pull the card out, registers it as removed and the game goes back to um, the regular idle message, or the attract message. Um, uh, there's also no type of card you can use. This is a, uh, what I call, this is the system bonus card. So when this card goes in, it will register, um, it will give you, uh, give you a certain number of credits uh, to play. I think this one is 5,000. So that's just a one-time use card. You put that in, you put, you put it in, you get the credits, you pull it out, and then you can go put your player tracking card back in if you want to continue to tracking your, your gameplay. Um, what else? So then, obviously, Ticket In, Ticket Out is working with this. Um, sorry, we got credits here on the machine. We can go ahead and we'll cash that out. So there's the credits. Go ahead and put it back in. And the credits get reapplied. So that's the basic operation. Like there's more functionality on the on the web app. So the web app gives you controls like be able to lock and unlock the machine, mute and unmute the game, um, enable and disable the bill validator. Um, get game stats and when there's a card inserted you can get the player statistics uh what else oh you can also turn on and off the change to credits so uh depending if you have a change or service button on your machine um you can set that option and set the number of credits so where every time you push the button you will get that many number of credits applied to the game so you can turn that on and off in the web interface um you can also turn that on and off by default in the uh configuration file and you'll see that in the documentation um, also on the web app, you can 
uh, set a custom message, uh, which will last for whatever, for the, for the current session. And by session, I mean however long the machine is on. So it'll overwrite the default uh, attract message. And um, you can also adjust the ticket information. So the location and the two address lines on the, um, on the ticket out, you can adjust that without having to go into the slot machines interface. The remote, con the, the web interface is also compatible with the better slots Tito Deluxe uh, applications for iOS and Android. So if you have those apps um, or you know, have, the ha you have that hardware, you could replace that hardware with, with this and get, um, get the Tito functionality as well as display and player tracking. Um, or you can just download those apps with my board and those, that app, th those uh, apps will work uh, and be compatible with um, my solution as well. So that's about it. Qu quick review. Please take a look at it. I'd love the feedback. Um, it's out there on the forum. Uh, if you can share some screenshots of how, so, pick shots or pictures of how you guys implemented the solution, that'd be great too. Um, I think all that information is really useful. And of course, any suggestions um, for how to improve this or things you'd like to see, uh, let me know. This is, this is the first Arduino project I've done. Um, I've been, I've had this machine for a couple of years and I've had the player tracking bracket and I didn't have the, the, um, Ballycom system to make it work. And then looking at, you know, purchasing that plus all the wiring that would be necessary to, to do that. I'm like, you know, there's gotta be a better way just to have that basic functionality that I, that I wanted to achieve. I didn't need a whole casino based accounting system. I've only have a couple of machines, um, but I thought it would be cool to have this and be able to give cards to people and say, hey, come in and play card. Put it in there and they get, they get a personalized message. Message, And I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, so if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, you know, let me know that too. And uh, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.